Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to create an export preset for the TV Center K2 machine. Now that K2 machine is very picky about what format it wants its videos in. And if it is not in the correct format, it will not play them. So by creating this preset, you will guarantee that your videos will play 100% of the time. So let's jump into Premiere and see how it's done. So I'm in Premiere now and I'm ready to export. I have something in my timeline. You have to have something in your timeline for Premiere to export. Now to export, you can either go up to File, Export, Media, or I prefer to go Command M or Control M if you're on a non-Mac computer. So either Command M or Control M depending on what computer you're on. Your format right here needs to be MXF OP1A. MXF OP1A. It's right here on the drop down folder. Your preset needs to be the AVC Intra Class 100-1080-60i. Now this is very important. This is the only format that the TV Center K2 machine will play. So pause, take an extra second right here and make sure you select Class 100-1080-60i. Go down here under this video subfolder and click render at maximum depth. This will increase your quality of the video so to make sure it is 100% sharp. Now your preset up here has turned to custom. That's okay, that's what you want it to do. Do not freak out. Over here you see the icon, it says save preset. You will click and you will be able to choose a name. Let's call mine TV Center K2. You do not have to click Save Effect Settings or Save Publish Settings. You can leave those unchecked. You will press OK. I've already made one, so I'm going to press Cancel. Now, every time you're ready to export your project, you'll click Command M or Control M, Format MXF OP1A. And under the preset, you'll see whatever you named yours. Remember, I named mine TV Center K2. I will click it and it does the rest of the settings for me so that I know it is correct. And then you'll press export. Hey, Future Parker here. As Jason mentioned in class, you're responsible for making a teaser for every package you make. You can also use this preset to make a teaser. Now, the MXF OP1A format is really big. I don't need all that information. My Wi-Fi is not fast enough. Your Wi-Fi is not fast enough. So let's make it smaller. Here's how we'll do it. So we'll jump into Premiere real quick, Command M or Control M, depending on what kind of computer you're on. Bring up our export settings folder. Your format should be H.264. Your preset should be match source high bit rate. Scroll down, render at maximum depth. Preset now says custom, save preset. You can name this teaser if you'd like. Again, do not have to check either of those boxes, leave them unchecked. You'll press OK, I'll press cancel because I've already made one. Now, disclaimer, this format will not work on the TV Center K2 machine. Will not, it will not work on the TV Center K2 machine. It will not work on the TV Center K2 machine. This is only for teasers because it is a much smaller file format and it will save time on uploading and downloading for everybody. So if you're uploading your package for the show that will be played on the TV Center K2, you need to use that other preset. This preset is only for teasers. Name them something that you can tell them apart easily, just so you know. Okay, back to past me. Now I know I went really quick there. If you missed anything or you're not sure, just pause the video and go back and rewatch it again. I hope this was helpful. Next week I'll be teaching you what's in this bag and why you need it every time you go out to film.